The transcriptomic section is designed in a way that you can start using the pipeline very quickly right after you upload the data. You can always go to this question mark and see uh, guidance on how to use this section uh, in this little pop-up. But let me show you quickly how to upload the data and start your pipeline. Under the advanced options, you will see that you have a few a few types of drop-downs uh, that help you determine what kind of data you're uploading. So you have a model genome with a GTF file, with an annotation file. You might have a, a genome that you want to upload yourself, and you might want to upload an annotated genome that is not contained in our section under organism over here. Right now I'm going to use a human genome, so I'm going to select the human genome over here. A single end or pair end, uh, you typically know from the data uh, whether this is to, uh, PE or a pair end or a single end. And you can select a number of formats over here. Additional formats are available, uh, but we have not put them as defaults under this uh, dropdown. Now you can upload your files. You can either upload your files from the computer or use links, HTTP or FTP links, as well as an SVL, which is a reference link to the files that are already on the server. Let me upload a few example files. So you can see that they will upload, and I can also cancel the upload, and then once they are done, or as they are uploading, I can define the groups, and I can make a number of groups here, or I can cancel this option altogether if I don't want to separate the files into any groups. Now I'm ready to start. By clicking on the Start button, I will see a pop-up that explains uh, what this, this section does again. Uh, I can navigate uh, through these explanations over here. And once I click OK, I now selected uh, the pipeline to be started. So each section uh, contains a number of options. I can read about the section by clicking on the section title. I can also select buttons that are highlighted by this yellow and dark color over here. So for example, um, in this case, I will have some formats that I can choose from. Uh, and, and that's how you can uh, just navigate uh, through these different sections and understand what is going on. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can go through uh, this pop-up over here uh, located on your bottom right corner. So the typical pipeline uh, will include uh, mapping. Um, I'm going to use Top Hat. And then we can uh, use cufflinks uh, to do isoform construction. Um, and then we can use bow tie to, or sorry, we can cancel. Uh, we can do cuff merge. Um, and that will. Um, merge together several cufflinks assemblies. Now, if you made a mistake and you want to go back, you just right click on that button and that will allow you to jump to the previous step. So you can see I deselected this. So you can select it again. Um, I'm going to map it on transcripts using Bowtie 2. And then what I want, want to do is create an expression level table um, that aligns everything and you can read there's a publication over here. So RSEM expression table. Um, I'm going to use that. And uh, I sometimes want to do an exon table. In this case, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to click end. And uh, in the end, uh, there's another area where you can read a little bit more. Um, it reminds you to press on the run pipeline button after you're done. It also explains what kind of output files you're expected to get in the end. So I'm going to save this pipeline. I'm going to name it. Save it. And you can notice here I have to click the Run Pipeline button. Now, don't forget to do this. Uh, but just uh, let's go and look over here. You can see the pipeline that I've created. And uh, now I can click this Run Pipeline button. So once I click the Run Pipeline button, I will be automatically redirected to the screen. You can see that the pipeline has started. Um, and you can also see 
that there's no output files for now uh, and you can see the graph again so if I go to my pipelines you will actually see that the RNA seq is processing right now and once it will be complete I will be able to see more details download a report and navigate to the um, download section